in this video I'm going to be doing a major decluttering session of my apartment. It is a cozy rainy winter night. I'm going to make some hot cocoa, put on a nice smelling candle and get started with decluttering my apartment. This has been a big goal of mine for a while now. I've been wanting to get rid of everything in my apartment that I no longer use or need and is just taking up space. I want to go into the new year just with a very minimalistic apartment. I don't want to have anything that I don't need or anything that isn't serving me anymore. So I'm going to start with my desk. I'm going to go through everything and just one by one determine if I'm going to keep an item or get rid of it. I'm going to start with my desk and I'm just going to go through all of the items to determine if I need to keep those items or if I need to donate or get rid of them. So this is going to be a super long decluttering session. I'm planning on decluttering my desk. I also need to do some of my kitchen drawers, my bathroom drawers, and my closet, which is going to be the biggest task of them all. My closet is a super mess right now. I'm also going to be doing some miscellaneous cleaning. I need to tidy up my kitchen and just do some laundry and some miscellaneous chores. So I will be incorporating that in this video. So this is just going to be a very long, motivating video full of cleaning and decluttering. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's just get started. I'm going to first start off this decluttering by lighting this vanilla bean Noel candle. I started decluttering my desk before Christmas, so I was still in the Christmas spirit and I wanted to light a candle that had a Christmassy type of scent. As you can see, I also still had my decorations up at this point, so I just put on some lighthearted Christmas music and I got started with decluttering my desk. You will see me sing along to some of the Christmas songs as well. I started off with the top of my desk and I just went through all of the items. I put some of the items in my backpack, like my laptop and my agenda and some notebooks. And then I just wiped down my desk with an all-purpose cleaner and a cleaning rag. I then went through each of the three shelves. So I brought out all of the items and just went through them one by one, sorting them out into items that I wanted to keep, items that I wanted to put in the trash, and items that I wanted to donate. By the end of this desk decluttering, I had gone through every single item in my desk and I was able to get rid of a lot of items and just minimize the amount of clutter that was in the space. I also wiped down the counters with the rag and multi-purpose cleaner after clearing each one out and then I replaced back the items that I wanted to keep in an organized manner. This task was so satisfying to get done. My desk had really gotten out of hand throughout the semester and I kind of was just shoving things in there that really didn't belong. There was a lot of papers that I went through that were super important that I didn't want to miss and there was a lot of miscellaneous items that I was able to get rid of as well. Having a clean and organized desk is going to set me up for success for this next semester coming up. It's going to allow me to be more organized and have access to all of the things that I need. My desk is also a place of storage for things like gift bags, cards, and miscellaneous craft paper and supplies, so it was good to have all of those items organized as well.
really overwhelmed when I first started this decluttering process because I thought it was going to take me a while to get through everything, but this whole process only took me about an hour and I was super happy with the final results. I felt like everything was neatly stacked on each other. I had a good inventory of everything in my desk and everything just appeared more neat, organized, and ready for the new year. The next area that I wanted to declutter is my closet. My closet was a complete disaster. It had gotten super out of hand throughout the semester. I just didn't have time to keep things organized and clean like I normally do. My clothing stacks were in disarray. They are normally super neatly categorized and folded properly, but as the semester went on and I was more focused on school, I would just fold my laundry quickly and just put it anywhere that it could fit. I started decluttering this area Area by first just putting in a load of laundry. Once that was going, I moved all of the stacks of clothing to the floor and just started from scratch. I went through each clothing item one by one and decided if I wanted to keep it or donate it. All of the items that I decided to keep, I folded extremely nicely and put them into categories. So I had a category of long pants, shorts, skirts, button down shirts, long sleeve shirts, tank tops, just a category for every type of clothing item I had so I can easily see what is available and it's just easier for me to create outfits this way. Once I finished creating all of the stacks, it was time to put each stack on the shelf. So I played around a little bit to see what order of the stacks would work best. I didn't have room to put all of them on the shelf directly, so I had to stack some of them on top of each other, but it eventually worked out and it looked a lot neater than how we started. I have an oddly shaped walk-in closet, so this system just works best for me and this is how I prefer to organize my clothing. Moving on, I wanted to go through all of the items that I had hung up. I was able to get rid of a few of these items as well, and I just made sure all of the items that I had were things that I normally would want to wear and that weren't just collecting dust in my closet. Most of these items I ended up keeping, but I ended up moving some of them around just to make everything look more organized. The next step was to go through every single one of the boxes in my closet. By the end of this closet decluttering, there wasn't a single item that hadn't been touched or gone through. So I'm just starting off with this little basket box that I have. This box houses miscellaneous items, but it's gotten super disorganized over time. It was actually overflowing with items. So I wanted to make sure I went through all of it. I threw out some items and I also found some items that I wanted to donate as well. Most of the items in here are just miscellaneous, a lot of craft supplies, little cards, papers, things like that. So I just went through each one one by one and decided if I wanted to keep it and this also allowed me to be aware of everything that I owned in this box just for future reference if I needed to grab one of these supplies in the future.
of the boxes I went through, that last one definitely took me the longest just because there was a lot of keepsake items like past birthday cards, graduation cards that I had to go through and it was pretty difficult to think of how I wanted to organize those and which ones I wanted to keep and get rid of. I also realized throughout this whole process that I had a lot of items that I really didn't need to hold on to and moving forward I want to be careful not to just purchase items that I'm never going to use again or hold on to items that really don't have a purpose in my life and are just taking up space. This is also going to help me save money because as I have gone through everything and I'm aware of what I own, it will prevent me from buying duplicate purchases and buying unnecessary items that are just going to collect space and I'm going to have to get rid of later. This next box had a lot of cards in it as well, so it was really fun to go through all of those and read all of the loving messages I've received throughout my life. I was also able to sort through some of the books I owned. I was able to donate a lot of books and I'm going to be selling some textbooks as well, so that was beneficial. And I only kept the books that I hadn't read yet and I actually had a genuine interest in reading and it was just a couple books. So I was really happy to get all of that off of my hands and I was actually able to completely sort through all of the items in this box to the point where I no longer needed to use this box. So for these next few minutes, I'm going to be going through all of the boxes that I had on the top shelf of my closet and off camera as well I also went through those big bins that you guys saw on the top shelves those housed all of my decor items so like my fall decor items my Christmas decor obviously a lot of my Christmas decor was being used my relative and I actually went through those bins off camera and sorted through everything and by the end of this process I was able to declutter a lot make a lot of donations that some others will probably enjoy. Once I was finished going through all of the boxes, I wanted to turn over to this little section I have with all of my Bath & Body Works products. I have a lot of perfumes and lotions that I just feel like are unnecessary and I don't really use that often. A lot of times this area can get disorganized and some of the perfumes may fall over and create a big mess, so I wanted to minimize the amount of items in this area and I just kept it to a minimum, keeping only the items that I really use most often and love. The last step of organizing and decluttering my closet was to focus on the floor of the closet. I was able to get rid of a stack of shoe boxes that I no longer needed, as well as some dingy flip-flops. And I basically removed all of the items that were on the floor, so this is where I house all of my shoes. So I just removed those and cleared the space because I wanted to sweep the floor really well, get rid of all of the dust and anything that had collected, and then I replaced all of my shoes back, making sure they were categorized well so I put all of my heels together all of my sandals and sneakers making sure to put the shoes that I use most often in the front and that was pretty much it for my closet decluttering I was so satisfied with how everything turned out this was a huge project and took me multiple days I was so exhausted by the end of it I had to break it up into different clusters of organizing but now that I had it completed this was super satisfying and I'm so happy that my closet is nice and decluttered and organized for the new year start.
last thing that I'm going to be decluttering in this video is my bathroom. My bathroom has accumulated a lot of products over these past couple months. I had a lot of extra shampoos and body washes from my closet boxes that I moved to my bathroom. So I wanted to organize those under my sink really nicely and just get rid of anything that I was no longer using. So I started with the first little drawer that I have. This is the drawer that I keep my skincare bag and just items that I use every single day when I'm getting ready in the morning, like my toothbrush, flosses, skincare, things like that. So what I did was I just removed all of the items. I wiped down the drawer with an alcohol wipe just so that it was nice and clean. And then I replaced the items that I was going to keep and use every day in an organized fashion. I did the same thing essentially with the next two drawers. So this next drawer is where I keep a lot of my hair care products. It's where I have my curling iron, my dry shampoos, all of my hair clips and hair ties. So I emptied out the drawer completely. I wiped it down thoroughly, getting rid of all of the dust. And then I replaced back all of the items that I use frequently and got rid of anything that I no longer use or wanted. This is also where I keep my makeup bag, so I went through that as well. I pulled out all of my makeup items and got rid of what I was no longer using. For all of my beauty blenders and brushes, I put those in the sink because I will be washing those later. Moving on to the third and last drawer, I took everything out and wiped it down. This is where I keep a lot of my nail supplies. So I have a big silver bag with all of my nail polish. I went through that whole bag and just replaced everything that I needed. So all of my nail files, my nail polish remover, some of my oils, and my cotton balls. Moving on to underneath the bathroom sink, this is where the biggest mess was in my opinion because I had just thrown a lot of products in here from when I was organizing my closet. So I went through each product one by one. I have several bins that I use to separate the items. So I used a pretty large bin for some miscellaneous extra items that I like to have on hand. I pulled everything out and just went through everything one by one. I was able to get rid of a lot of things and just categorize things based on these little bins that I had. So I had one bin that was for like first aid items like band-aids, neosporin gel, first aid kit. I had one box that was for extra items. So like extra face masks, skincare products, products, lotions. I had one bin that was just for extra toothbrushes and toothpaste. And then for all of the products, I just went through them and kept the ones that I wanted the most. And I put all the extra products like the shampoos, conditioners, and body washes at the back. And at the front, I just put the items that I used the most. To wash all of my beauty blenders, I just used this Cucumber Dove soap. I just scrub the beauty blender onto the soap, making sure that the soap fully penetrates the beauty blender and gets rid of all of the makeup that has built up. And then I just run it under some hot water and squeeze the beauty blender so that the soap and water comes out. And once the water runs clean, that's when I know the beauty blender is cleaned. I feel like this is the most efficient way to clean my beauty blenders. It just really thoroughly scrubs all of the foundation and concealer and makeup off. The bar of soap does a really good job of sudsing up the beauty blender and just getting rid of all of that bacteria. I do pretty much the same thing with all of my makeup brushes. I just wet the brush and scrub it onto the bar of soap, getting it all nice and sudsy, and then I rinse it off. And then I dry everything on this towel that I have laid out on my sink.
That is going to complete my bathroom decluttering. So these are all of the drawers and how they turned out. Obviously it doesn't look like Pinterest, but this system really works for me. And I was able to narrow down my bathroom products to everything that I absolutely needed. So thank you guys so much for joining me along this decluttering journey. I just want to mention that there will be a part two of this. I'm going to be decluttering my fridge, pantry, and kitchen drawer next. So there will be some more decluttering content coming up if you guys are interested in watching that. I'm also going to be deep cleaning my whole apartment for the new year. I want to start the new year extremely fresh and clean before I start my new semester. So I have some exciting cleaning and decluttering videos coming up soon. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and supporting me. I hope you guys are doing well and are super excited for the new year coming up. I'm wishing you guys well and I will see you guys very soon in the next video.